Hey guys, so that's Lego Bricks here again. Doing another Lego Star Wars review on the Lego Corporate Alliance Tank Droid. Um, it has set number 7748. It is 7 to 12, like the Gene Ocean Starfighter, which I just reviewed. Um, and it has 216 pieces. Um, great, great set. I love the set. It's probably one of my favorites all-time droid sets. I don't have very many, very many droid sets, but I feel like this would still be my favorite. We get four minifigs, and I don't know how, I think this was $25 or $29 when it came out in Canada. Um, I just noticed that was two pieces missing there. I'll have to find those. Uh, yeah, but anyway, that's weird. Um, so you're gonna have to pretend those are there for now. Uh, yeah. So I got the set used for fifteen dollars. I probably could have got less for it because it's it was like a GG ad, and you don't really pay much for the GG. Um, but I love the set. I'm glad I have it. Let's start off with um the minifigs. We don't need to look at the box. We get two of these. I'll only show you one of each. Um, we get the normal short, like medium blaster. These are normal clones. But they have jetpacks. White jetpack, which is like, I think this is the only set that ever made white jetpacks. Um, yeah, which is, so that's really nice. Um, this is a good builder set for your, both your armies. The corporate alliance tank droid, um, it's gonna be really, really nice because it's gonna look great in your droid army. Plus these two jet clones are gonna look awesome in your clone army. And you don't even have to put the jets on. You can just get these for... Yeah, and we get two um, normal battle droids, nothing special, don't really like the droid minifigs. Um, yeah, we get two of those. We don't really need those, we only need one clone trooper. First, I'll show you the first feature. We get this little um, launcher, and you hit this, and it, you know, we hit that, and then it shoots the um, clone. Okay. Okay, let's try this out. It doesn't go very far, so let's boost them up here. And then we'll knock them down. There, that, that one wasn't good. That was good, not wasn't. So yeah, that is a nice feature on the set. No one can drive this, but it is a droid. Um, so I, it drives itself. It's his own. It's his own man. Um, just for this review, I'm going to make a little exception to the antenna things that are missing. And I'm going to take two off one of my normal sets that I have just laying around here. These are yellow that comes with some um, gray ones. But I want to show you for this review what it's supposed to look like. And mine did have these on. I lost them. I also got the Clone Trooper Walker Battle Pack, but you guys don't want to know what that is. It's just I'm not gonna do a review on it. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like there. It rolls really nice. It works better on carpet, obviously. But if you hold it right here, it will roll nice. Um, I love that feature. I, I, I could just run around the house and push this on the walls for hour or on the floor. Um, one thing that I thought would have been super easy for Lego to not do and for it to be easy to fix is to make the flick fire on the top. <laughs> I mean, look. Ow, 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 ow. Like, <laughs> you have to flick it sideways. And it doesn't work really any like it these are horrible flick fires they're really long so it just goes like falls and it's on the bottom so they just they should have just not even put flick fires in this set like it's a good set for display and this tread is really fun to play with you don't need flick fires just take these out or whatever and then just like or just not even flick them just leave them there like display looks nicer 
These do move. This is a very easy build. I actually took it apart and rebuilt it for myself. It came with the instructions and everything. It came with the instructions, the box, 100% complete. Um, yeah, it was great. It had the extra tread piece too. I actually put it on. I like the extra tread. It, it makes it easier to roll on uh, tread surfaces. So yeah, we can push these flip fires out and they don't go very far. Yeah. Also, the thing they could have changed is made that a uh, black stud. I mean, black like pin. Um, it just I can I see it a lot when I'm driving it around. You can't really see it good on camera, but that bugs me a little bit. I feel like they could have done that better. Um, I'm gonna after this review, I'm gonna switch this one and put it on the bottom, just because I don't like it like that. And here's a tip, guys. When you're building this set, um, make sure this back piece, there's some space between them. There's space between this and the tread. Make it like one stud wide of a space. Because if it's not, if it's like this and it's pushed together, together look. It's not rolling. You have to take these off, make sure. And make sure you just slow that you just like slowly push that on so that it's not touching and so it will work again. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. Um, yeah. So if I had to choose between this set and the Gene Ocean Starfighter, if they were the same price. Um, I'd probably still go with the Corporate Alliance tank. You get one more minifig, even though they're just clones and droids. Um, I really like this set a lot better than the Starfighter, but the Starfighter is really nice. And I kind of, I if I feel if I feel like I didn't like, if I wasn't like obsessed with this one vehicle and I didn't like it so much because I played it so much in the video game, I feel like I might like the fighter. But the fact that that's forty bucks and this is like twenty nine or twenty five. This set is a lot better. We get more pieces, even though they're smaller. This one's a lot bigger. Um, I'd rate, and for the ratings for this set now. Okay, <clears throat> for, uh, it's kind of a hard rating. It's a good set, but it's not amazing, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll do like a collector's too now. Um, for the, first I need to finish the Gene Ocean Starfighter. If I were to do a collector's rating on the Gene Ocean Starfighter, I'd give it an 8. Because you do get, um, Kiedu Mundi, and the Gene Ocean Pilot, and the fighter is a good, you, we did see this in the, we did see this in the movie. I don't know what home, but I remember seeing it somewhere in one of the Star Wars sagas, so, it's there. Um, so for the Corporate Alliance tank droid, for younger kids, um, I'm gonna rate this, get nice minifigs, um, Actually, first we'll start with the collectors. For this set collective, I'm gonna give it a nine. A nine because we can build our armies. We got two droids and two clones, and two clone jet troopers. Um, this thing doesn't really count as anything. It's not gonna help it, but it does a little bit, like half a point maybe. It's because it, it does work pretty good. Um, so yeah, younger kids, I'm gonna go an eight. Um, uh, older kids, like my age, um, I just turned 13 on August 2nd, um, I'm gonna rate this set a nine and a half, because we can build our armies, which a lot of older kids are doing now, and more adults, um, this, this tank droid is amazing, like, older kids are gonna like this if they're, if they're into Lego, because, why wouldn't you like this? It, it it's fun. It's not too kiddish to play with. It has it still has like an older kid feel to it, I guess. Like it's not just for little kids. Um, building army. Every every droid army has to have one of these. Um, for adults, I'm gonna rate this a ten because of the fact we can build the armies. Like I said, this thing is probably not fun for old kids, but it's still cool. This is amazing. Like why wouldn't you like it? And. Comment, subscribe. Have to go now. Thanks. Bye.